Hey, it's Kenny Cummins here, and you know I am absolutely thrilled about my next guest at this time. Singer, songwriter for Nashville, Tennessee. And I am thrilled to be joined with the one and only Miss Megan Golden. Hey, Megan, how's it going? It's going well. How are you? I'm doing real good. You got a show coming up at the top of the hour, so I appreciate you taking some free time and doing this interview. I appreciate yeah. it. For sure. I'm glad that it worked out. I was like, I was nervous about it. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate you working with me. I got you. I got you. So, um, we'll definitely get into that show in a matter of moments. But first, Perfect. I how did you get started as a singer songwriter? How did it start off for you? Uh, I basically just started like when I was, I was about 15. I had been kind of singing since I was like five years old, but when I was 15, I, uh, I grew up in Nashville. So I saw a lot of other people, uh, you know, doing the singer songwriter thing and saw that like they were writing songs. And that was like a big part of kind of, I don't know, the whole Nashville thing of like, you know, a, a good way to be able to play out and everything. So I was like, I want to start writing. So I just sort of asked for a guitar for Christmas and then started playing and started writing and just started doing songwriters nights whenever I could around town. One thing I noticed about Nashville is that it's become the country mecca of the world, pretty much. Like I've always... Yeah, it really I've already said this to people, like, you can go to a grocery store in Nashville, and you probably run into a country singer and not even know it. Um, <laughs> Seriously, I always say, like, when you're out to eat, probably your waitress is a country singer, <laughs> you know? That, too. That, too. So, you being a artist there, and so much is going on, so many artists out there, like, you as a performer, like, what's the experience like going to these shows and seeing so many talented musicians and interacting with them and stuff like that. It's really great. Honestly, like I think I'm very thankful that I grew up in Nashville because I think that's a big part of why I, I got into doing it was because a lot of places I went, everyone, and I, I loved singing since I was little, but everywhere I went, everyone was writing and, um, you know, like really chasing after like their artistry and all that stuff. So it was, a big part of me wanting to do it, like seeing everyone else do it. I was like, I want to do that. And like, I, I saw the hard work they were putting into it. And I was like, okay, that's what it takes. Like these people are working every day, writing every day, like, you know, playing whatever shows they can, um, and doing the most that like, that helps me a lot. Just being able to see everyone around town doing it and be like, okay, that, that's what it takes. You know, that like work ethic for sure. One thing I admire about you, in addition of you being a very talented singer, songwriter, you have quite the personality. You have quite the oh, charisma. And I know firsthand, I, I watch the Instagram videos you be doing, the Instagram lives and stuff, and I'm like, I like, I really like this girl. Like, she is, <laughs> she is someone that I can go to the bar and when I have lengthy conversations or whatnot, like, and, you know, thank and, you. And uh, you, I appreciate that. You was recently, about a couple of months ago, performed in Kentucky. You performed at Talent Winery in Shelbyville, yeah. and I wanted to go so bad, and I was unable to. <laughs> but hopefully, the next time you head to Kentucky, I'll be able to make it. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to be back soon. So, let's talk about this song, Background Noise. Um, it is your latest single. It's available on all digital music platforms. Uh, what it was is. What was it like recording this song, and what's it all about? It was so much fun. So, I got to write this song with a guy who has produced a lot of my music, um, and then and two other guys, the producer, Frank Leger, um, who I've written with many times before, but then Ryan Robinette and Ty March both wrote on it, and they're both artists as well and have a lot of amazing music but are also just, like, really cool songwriters, and I was super excited to get to write with them. Um, and I had this idea. I was like, I want to write this song about, like, 
I want it to be called background noise and I want it, you know, just to be about like, I don't know, just kind of like all these, like, like another failed relationship and it's just all background noise, you know, it's just all like, it, it doesn't bother you too much, I guess is like kind of the goal of it. And so um, I kind of like explained it to them and they're like, that's a cool idea. And they just like helped make it like, they saw what I was envisioning, which sometimes, you know, it's hard to get everyone on the same page of, like, what I wanted it to be. And I just felt like they helped make it so much better than I could have been able to make it on my own. And so we had a blast writing it, um, and I was excited about it. And, I, you know, I felt like it was true to me and everything. So, yeah, we ended up recording it and uh, putting it out there, and it became the next single, so which was very exciting. I was super stoked that this one made it. As the saying goes, teamwork makes the dream work. Or in this case, yeah, for sure, makes a yeah. song. Yeah, and luckily in Nashville, there's so many people that are just so crazy talented. I'm always like so excited that they're a part of like what I'm doing. You know, absolutely. So you got a show coming up tonight at the top of the hour. There are some changes on the show, but the show itself will still go on as planned. Um, talk about yeah. the show you got coming up and for people that hasn't seen Megan Golden perform before, what can they expect? Uh, so tonight I'm playing, it's going to be a songwriters round, which is fun. Cause it's, um, I think it's kind of a Nashville thing, but for people who aren't from Nashville, it's kind of basically usually about four writers. will all just like line up and we'll go back and forth and each you know, play songs that we wrote and just go until the hour's up. Um, so we'll play probably like three or four songs a piece. Um, and yeah, so I just do my songs acoustic, which is kind of fun. Like some of my songs are pretty acoustic anyways, but a lot of the songs I've been putting out recently are, you know, they have like uh, kind of like a lot of production on them, I guess. So it's kind of fun to play them just acoustic and um, kind of strip down to like what they were when we wrote them, you know? So yeah, we're doing that tonight. And I actually don't even know the fourth person had to cancel. And so there's going to be a new fourth person. And I don't even know who the fourth person is going to be. So I'll be finding out soon as well. The element of surprise, as people say. Yeah, um, <laughs> exactly. So that's going to be at the Common Door Grill. And um, the performers, as of right now, Alana, uh, yourself and another person that I'm familiar with, Dallas Wimington. She yes. is someone I've interviewed in the past. So oh, nice. sweetheart of a person oh, yeah. she is. She got an incredible song called Freedom Out right now. Uh, go check yes. that out if you're in the Nashville area this evening. Um, what else is in store for Megan Gordon in the coming months as pertains to maybe an EP or a full-length album and more up-and-coming shows that people need to keep an eye on? So I'm heading out to Georgia early. I leave at like 7 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> Going to Georgia to play a show there. Next weekend, I'll be in Indiana. So doing a lot of traveling uh, for music stuff. Just got back from New York like last week. Um, so I'm playing, trying to play all over, which is all, you know, on my website and stuff. But I am... I have a song that I think may be the next single. Well, I, it's kind of down to two. I have one that I finished, and then I have one that I have a right Monday where we're going to finish up another song, and it's kind of down between those. So um, I will definitely be releasing a single soon, but I'm not sure even which song it will be um, or when it will be. But hopefully soon. I'm trying to do singles so that I can do them more often rather than doing EPs every you know year or something like that. So yeah, a single should be coming before too long. I'll definitely keep an eye on all of that. And then some, you talked about being at New York recently, the city that never sleeps. Yes. <laughs> I, I've been there before. Sadly, it was doing a blackout. That was a very, oh, very, no. that was a very, very long time ago. My family went there and. Like on the day before we was about to leave, that's when the blackout happened, and it was like happened while we was in the middle of Times Square, so we had to get off. Oh the, my god! We had to get off the eight, the big bus, and walk twenty blocks on the way home. Took us like two hours to get home. 
Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah. That probably was awful at the time, but it's kind of cool to be able to say you were there, like, when all that happened. <laughs> yeah, I was I was there. My, we were spectators. Like, wow. You know, hopefully the next time That's I crazy. go. That's <laughs> crazy. Hopefully the next time I go to New York be far better experience. I mean, I love the city, but it was just a case of unfortunate circumstances. And what the, the – Yeah, fir- And the funny part was after – like on su- on the day that we was about to leave, as soon as the electricity went back on, we just just went out. We just gone. We gone. Everybody woke. <laughs> everybody woke up like, okay, let's go, let's go. So, um, but for for <laughs> That's you, crazy. but for you, you know, visiting New York. What, how was your experience visiting New York? It was it was actually really great. Um, it was very stressful because I. <laughs> I had never done a show out of town um, where I didn't drive, so I flew there. So I, there was a lot of stuff I couldn't take with me, like a lot of my sound stuff. So it was a little bit more stressful than normal, but it was a, it was so much fun, and I had the best time, and I loved the city, and everyone was so nice, which was I was not expecting that because everyone always kind of talks about you know like everyone's so nice in the south and like up north it's not like that and that's like what I've always heard um but everyone was super nice like we got lost so many times on the subways and people would stop us and be like hey you look lost like what can I do to help or just like stop and ask me like why are you carrying a guitar around and I would tell them you know like I'm playing a couple shows and I don't know everyone was just super nice and I had like a really great experience and I I want to go back so bad where I have a couple days because I was pretty packed with my schedule this trip and I want to have a couple days to just like roam the city and just like you know hang out instead of just being like okay I gotta get here and I gotta get here you know so I'm hoping I can go back soon because it was seemed so great and it really was a great experience and I want to go where I'm not as stressed about shows and stuff so before I let you go Megan uh, why don't you go ahead promote your social media links and where can people stream and purchase your music. Okay. Um, I have a website, which is www.megangolden.com. Megan is M-E-G-A-N, and golden is just like the color. Um, but it's got links to all my social media there. But if you're looking for me on Instagram and Twitter, it's at Megan A. Golden. If you search Megan Golden on iTunes and Spotify, I've got lots of original music up there. Um, but like I said, if you have any trouble finding it, megangolden.com is the best place to get links to all that stuff. So go check that out. And if you're in the Indiana and Georgia area, she's headed your way. Uh, Support local music, support independent music, and check out Megan Gordon. Not only you will enjoy her music, you also enjoy her personality. She's worth the price of admission. Uh, Thank you so much for your time. And one more. Thank you so much. And uh, one more quick question. Uh, Okay. You know, the your last name is Golden, um, yeah. and, you know, that's just one of those names that people could easily use as a pun. Like, that was Golden. <laughs> yeah. D- does that bother you sometimes when people use your name as a pun? It's funny because it, it doesn't bother me, but people say it all the time, and I'm always like, are they saying this because they're trying to be, you know, they'll be like, oh, it's, it's Golden, or like, that was Golden, and I'm like, I, I can't tell if they're just saying it because they normally say it or if they're trying to be funny. And I'm like, oh, I should laugh. <laughs> I'm like, what they're saying. Um, and then, like, people try to write songs with me all the time called Golden and whatever. But it doesn't bother me. But I'm always like, I wonder if they're just doing this on purpose or if they're just if this is just what they normally say. Because a lot of people say, like, oh, that's Golden, you know. So it doesn't bother me. But I'm always just like, hmm. <laughs> very, very understandable. Well, you have a great show this evening, and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll keep an eye on your next Kentucky appearance. So, um, you uh, have, you Hopefully have, soon. You have I good, appreciate you so much. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You have a good night. Thank you, too. It was great talking to you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.